Thank you for joining me for my final message as Burton and District Chamber President. Under normal circumstances, I would have completed my term as President back in 2020. However, it was decided I should continue in my role for another 12 months. My primary goal has been to strengthen the link between Burton and Greater Birmingham Chambers of Commerce, whilst continuing to increase the membership and bring patrons on board. The role has offered many new insights I hadn't considered beforehand. In my first week, I was interviewed by the BBC regarding the Trent Bridge Works. Later in the role, I appeared on ITV to discuss the impact of COVID-19 on regional businesses. I've also regularly spoken to BBC Radio Derby, the Burton Mail and Derbyshire Live discussing various topics such as the success of Burton businesses, flooding in the back in 2020, COVID-19 implications on jobs, and also Brexit negotiations and their collective effects across the region. As part of the role, I have also attended many events. Amongst them, I was delighted to speak at the opening of Grupo Antolin's substantial expansion in Barton Hundred Eagwood, leading to the creation of over 150 jobs. For three years as president, I've taken part in the annual sleep out at the Pyrelli Stadium for Burton YMCA's biggest annual fundraiser and I've encouraged other businesses to participate. I really hope that Sean will continue this tradition and help raise much needed funds for our local YMCA. I've also been very proud to speak at Let's Do Business Expo and the Manufacturing Expo at Staffordshire County Showgrounds. Just a few days ago, I had the pleasure to take part in a tour at Wilshire's Waste and Recycling new £10 million recycling facility right here on our doorstep. On behalf of the Chamber, I've met with numerous businesses in the Town Centre to discuss their issues and explore how the Chamber can assist them. For this campaign, we liaised with the MP and the Local Council. During the No Brexit Deal campaign, I submitted a question to Parliament which was answered live by Hilary Benn, MP. I'm pleased that the EU and the UK managed to agree on an initial deal. Over the last two years, we've also worked closely with Chris, Costas, Pam and Max and the whole team within the Chamber to bring on board some fantastic companies as patrons for the Burton Division. Currently, we have seven patrons, including my company, Hardy Signs Limited. Despite the uncertainty, membership numbers over the last three years have remained strong. Your hard work must be celebrated. And the Greater Birmingham Chambers of Commerce Annual Awards are a great way to do this. I would urge all businesses based in Burton to submit their nominations before the deadline on Friday the 4th of June. I would also encourage you to empower all the young professionals across your organisations to enter the Future Faces Awards. To keep our local talents in the region, we need to step up our mental and professional support towards our future business leaders. Over the last 15 months throughout the pandemic, the Chamber has helped members to access grants and business advice, facilitated business connections through virtual networking, and across social media. Has also advocated a business voice to the Parliament and other key stakeholders. These have ultimately kept the business community united. 